Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Javi, and welcome back to the Hubris of Isaac. If you caught it, the last run, man. The last run. Uh, continue was just me. I accidentally uh, hit the space bar, which started a new blue baby run, so I don't think that's going to count against us. I don't really care. Uh, we we uh, Spoilers, we lost the last run. Uh, but we got boss rush, which means we have boss rush done for all of the all of the critters all the heroes on on hard mode i can't believe how how long it took uh for that to be accomplished so let's go ahead and grab our seed here is e c m c f -f -f all right cool so we have batteries and we have cards and we have deck of cards two of hearts Degas room purity Lovers. I'll take the Lovers card with me for now. And it feels really, really nice. I've got, I gotta say, it feels incredibly nice to not be sweating how fast I get from one room to the next. It's just not how I play. Uh, it, it takes the, the anxiety. I mean, obviously, if you listen to the last run, what I've had to work on since coming back from being gone for from YouTube for a year, the hardest thing for me to work on was getting back into a situation where I didn't feel like I had to speak until there was a thought formed. And I know that sounds really kind of self-explanatory and silly to say, oh, well, don't talk until you've, you've thought of something to say to people. And preferably how to say it in the most effective way using English, your mother tongue. And so the thing is, is that, and a lot of people do this, if you've studied any sort of speaking whatsoever, like public speaking whatsoever, you know that people do this a, a ton. It's the reason that they start a sentence off with the word so, or they go um, or like, or whatever it is that they end up saying. Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune lovers. No, nothing about that excites me. But it's a, it's a defense mechanism to sort of fill the dead air. And I'm somebody who definitely is guilty of that because of the, the natural high anxiety at which my motor runs. And so when I'm worried about a time limit, if I'm worried about making it, you know, through the mom fight in 20 minutes to get the boss rush, then that's really the thing that lives in the forefront of my brain. And if you've listened to me talk for any extended period of time, you're cognizant of the fact that, oh, Jesus Christ, there's so much stuff going on here. All right, well, we'll probably take judgment with us. Oh, uh, daddy want. All right, well, let's... I don't know why I dodged it like it was going to hurt me. Let's take the two, I suppose. But yeah, if, you, if you've ever watched me play video games, man, you know that I, I can't... I can't hold on to multiple thoughts at once. I can't count the number of times that I've gone into the comment section and had people say, Taffy, you started a story, you asshole. You started a story on the depths. And then you got distracted by, you know, that, that monstro, or I guess not monstro, you got distracted by that gish fight, and you never finished the story, man, so is your dad alive, or whatever idiotic thing it was that I started to talk about, I'm like, oh, sh shit, I should, I should tell you that, yes, he's alive, everything's good, so sorry, I'm really actually grateful, this, this struck me as the kind of place where, uh, it struck me as the kind of place where the secret room would appear, obviously, appear to be and then not be there uh i'm leaving the degas room for now because I'm, I'm gonna pop it before i walk out of here and i'm gonna take it i'm gonna take it spirit heart i'm going to absorb its energy and eat its heart and uh, in envelop its strength into my own into my own spirit fabric so yeah i i i feel much more relaxed i feel much more calm uh, I, I mentioned in the video yesterday that now that the boss rush drama dramedy is finally over that my new focus is probably going to be knocking out these challenges at, a, at at an advanced clip. I'll probably knock out a couple a day until they're done. And then I'll, I'll at least unlock the Lost and play him. My rules for the Lost, and I adopted these, and I'll tell you why. You'll, you'll sort of, I think you'll probably see and understand the method to my madness. I did about a month of just playing whatever Lost run came up. And the problem that I found was that these Lost runs... If I, if I did like, okay, let's say, my problem was I was taking too many runs that started off with useless items and just kind of limping along until I knew I was going to get hit. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was just limping along until I knew I was going to get hit. Dagaz, Spirit Heart, good. We'll take the Lovers and Judgment for now in case we, uh, we're not going to get a, we're not, uh, what's this, Two of Hearts? Yeah, we don't need that. 
so I would limp along until uh, shit. Wheel of Fortune versus the Lovers. Let's let's take Judgment and Wheel of Fortune. I feel like that could end up ultimately being worth more to us. Uh, ultimately, the 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 card, the Wheel of Fortune card, could serve almost like a like a justice card. I wish I had a bomb. So yeah, man, I, I would I would kind of jump into these runs and take any any damn thing that showed up and sit there and limp along for like 20 minutes until I got hit on like the caves part two or basement two or killed by the haunt in the first boss fight and that would take up that took up a month of that took up a month of time on the stream and so I adopted a new rule because I'm I'm there are people who are like I hate guys that just like re-roll the run until ooh, that, yeah I'll take that I hate guys who re-roll the run until they get uh, whatever holy mantle or nine lives in the first item room I, I'm with you man like that that shit irritated me too so I decided not to do that but I do sort of an adapted version of it where I'm not I'm not re-rolling for for oh, okay that's really scary really scary really scary I'm not re-rolling for ultimately runs where I f yeah that's great that saves me a bomb and these are the fool Fool, Empress. Let's do this. Oh, we don't have a. Oh, well, we do have a bomb, but eh, this is this is better. So, uh, yeah. So my my theory, as I see it, is that I don't do. I re-roll until I get an item room right next to me. I go into the item room and I re-roll the run if the item is of no tangible benefit to me, and that's my that's sort of my take on it is that I'm not. I'm not re-rolling until I get god tier items. I'm not re-rolling until the game is and let's face it, no lost run is ever gifted to anyone. I've had I've had Holy Mantle and died because I never got any damage upgrades and it just became an in an, an inevitability that I was gonna take a ton of hits. So yeah, you know, mapping's fine. Eh, mapping's fine. It's not great. It'll it'll do though. It'll do in a pinch. I don't think I, I was going to say, I'm trying to figure out if I left a tented rock behind, but I don't think I did. But I can bomb my way into that boss trap room and see what's going down in there, see what's crack-a-lacking. But I don't want to do it until after I've done this fight, which will afford me the opportunity. Oh, I feel like that's going to be the second secret room up there, too. Well, if we get another bomb, we may try it out, but I'm not going to I'm not gonna sweat it too hard. I'm going to take this whatever this deal with the devil is going to be. So, yeah, I, I, I take... I, I take the ability to reroll and, and use that as my handicap until I get an item that affects me in a positive way. Uh, there, there are too many runs where I started off and I took, and I'm not, I'm not talking, I'm just talking like, I'm talking, well, what, what's a good example? Chemical peel. Chemical peel is a damage upgrade. I can get behind that. That's a useful item. Uh, Halo of flies obviously is a fucking amazing item as the loss. Uh, infamy, mask of infamy. Um, Ipecac. I mean, anything that affects my tears or my damage, uh, homing tears, spoon bender, any sort of ability to fly, the the runs that I'll re-roll will be the ones that start me off with things that I literally can't use, that I cannot use. Uh, dead bird, piggy bank, uh, what else? Anything that activates infestation, things that activate when you get hit, rage, anemia. We're going to have enough health to take anything we want in here and that is something we want so yay <laughs> yay da daemon rooms daemon rooms whenever we want them so uh th that's my thing is i just i re-roll until i get something that is even even you know skinny odd mushrooms something that is even of a marginal importance to us is what i end up re-rolling until i get and when i implemented that rule we we had basically had beaten the chest on like the second day that we'd ever tried to to do it and then ah, that really doesn't feel worth it well let's do this i don't want to fight these guys but i i would uh i will happily walk in here for no reason yish there we go all right let's go back and get the emperor's card that is actually of importance to me Okay, so yeah, man, within the first day of adopting these new rules, I beat Boss Rush and I beat the Dark Level all in the same day, like in the same afternoon. And so that's my thing is that I just don't want to put myself in a situation where I'm wasting, like literally what that's what it feels like is wasting your time watching me 
sort of fumble fuck around with runs that we know collectively we know in our bitter little hearts that we're not gonna not gonna win so that's that that's that's my plan I'll probably ooh hello ooh boo boo Krampus is everything I wanna boo your pelvis I wanna boo your stupid wings I wanna boo your shit eating little horns and your gigantic ears I mean like Nosferatu style ears bro you have to be cog like you have can you can't wear like a fedora. You can't pull like the Justin Timberlake and rock like a tiny vest in a fedora. Because those ears and those horns are a joke. Uh I don't I don't want Krampus's head. I'm actually enjoying the, the, the card synergy. Well that's I'm not gonna say a huge disappointment, but that is a that is a disappointment. What, what do we got? We got Oops, that's not what I meant. Um shit. Uh, tab not tab. I forgot a control. I seriously, honest to God, just forgot what, which button changed, which button changed the card you were holding. I had to put the sick jukes on those bats, yo. You down for round two? You ready for this? I'm like Barry Sanders on Tecmo Bowl. I can't remember if Barry Sanders was good on Tecmo Bowl. Everybody talks about Bo Jackson. I have to. I remember Emmett Smith was really good. Like I remember he wasn't like Bo Jackson God mode good, but uh, yeah, man, I remember. I remember. Oh shit! I remember being a Cowboys fan and being happy about the fact that I could play as Emmett Smith, and it it almost felt like cheating on Tecmo Super Bowl. So, anyway, uh, that that's kind of my my take on how I'm gonna deal with the the lost. And I don't know that I'll obviously I'm not gonna approach him I'm not gonna approach him the way that I approached the Blue Baby Champion run, because that's that's much more of a lottery thing. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'll probably just go back to cycling through all of the all the characters I'll go back to sort of like okay well today's Isaac and tomorrow's Maggie and then we got a lost run um, and you know there there will there will be no significant streaks until we manage to limp our way through the loss but we can start to see other characters again and frankly I, I miss them I would like to see them wub wub yeah I'll take that I'm not gonna do this for a gray chest but I will do it for a golden chest I immediately regret my decision just thought you should know boy wub wub is so uh, misleading because it, it it makes me feel like a woman it makes me feel like my tears are doing more damage than they are because their size fluctuates to a much larger sort of sort of status a larger diameter is the word I think that I was looking for there. I know that's the word I'm looking for. I don't know why I'm playing coy about it now. I just couldn't think of it. Remember that whole diatribe that I went on about, like, guys who talk without knowing exactly what they're going to say? Speak with purpose, Taffy. What the fuck's your problem? Oh, I need to, as I say, I need to kill one. All right, let's get the, let's get the, the ringleader here. There we are. So, yeah, th this... Seems like a fairly straightforward challenge run. It, it must be because I certainly don't remember doing it the last time I played. I, I, I have all the challenges done on the Twitch account. Uh, so I, I've beaten all the challenges before. The ones that sucked that I've beaten, normally I beat through scumming. But this one seems relatively straightforward if we just continue. I mean, obviously Goathead on the second floor is a, is a pretty stellar pickup. But if we just continue to sort of grab things that are of, of use and import along the way, we should be fine. Judgment and... Yeah, Judgment and Sun sounds great to me. Let's peek back here. Yeah, as I say, our shop's got to be around these parts somewhere. Do I want to use the Sun card like this? I'm going to use the Sun card as basically a Devil card. Because the, the rooms are all relatively small. Oh my gosh, okay. I just... Uh, there's, there's part of me that I used to value the Sun a ton. And now, because there's such a dearth of there's such a dearth of cards. Oh, I want PhD in a hurting way. No, I don't, because I've got cards. I want BFF. I'll take BFF. I don't have the money for it, but I'll 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 ask for it kindly, and with a with a with a song in my heart. All right, so I think that this means this this room layout probably means the secret rooms to our south. It doesn't matter. We don't have any bombs. We're just trying to keep mental tabs in case we come across one. Tons of keys though, and now we have bombs. So let's test my theory. Because if it's money in there, that basically gives us the ability to go buy B, 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 F, F, B, ta, ta for now, T, T, F, N, ta, ta for now. Credit card. <laughs> I guess we're just going to go use it, man. Let's just go use it. And then we'll come back and use the, the 13 cents that we have on that judgment. I don't even know. The problem is I don't even know what PhD does. 
Oh, I used the sun like an asshole. Whatever. Yay, PhD is better pills. We're gonna okay. We'll still have the cards. That's fine. That's fine. I, I uh, don't get me wrong. I feel like I total dickwad for using the sun like that. But I guess, I guess it ain't no thing. Whatever. It's not like we're not gonna have the opportunity opportunity to make more cards. I'm actually strangely okay with you being here. Okay, let's do this. I just want to line this up so we get the best possible chance to get a payout. Hmm. Justice is going to give us another heart to try that again. Hangman doesn't do dick for us, but that's okay. Let's back it on up. You know what? I'm fine with that. I'm totally okay with that. I like. I, like, I feel the need. The need for speed. Hangman's going to happen here 150%. So, if nothing else, the PhD was worth the pickup just to not have to deal with this room in, in any more of a capacity than I have to. I just want to ignore the fact that this room exists. Oh no! <laughs> God damn it, Taffy. Take this game seriously. I mean, I'm taking it seriously, but I just, uh, I get melancholic when I, when I get into this room. I get real, I get real... Not depressed, but just kind of like, oh, well, this room's going to be real, real slow. Like the same way that I would feel when I tried to do calculus homework in undergrad. I dropped that class three times, by the way, before I finally just d it decided that I was never going to do calculus. Uh, I, I had grand ambitions, man, because a Blizzard, Blizzard was hitting its stride about the same time that I was in undergrad trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life. And so there was part of me that was just like, well, I understand that I need math to be a gaming programmer. So I decided to go to school for like a semester for computer science because I had been undecided for the most part. Excuse me. I decided to go to school for computer science and um, listed everything off that I needed to accomplish to, to actually get a computer science degree. And it's a lot of math and I'm not good at math. And I, I, I tell you what though, I got like a 98% in pre-calc trig which obviously is not the same thing. Let's just do that. I got a 98% in pre-calc and trig in a class where the professor didn't require that you went to class. If you did the homework and showed up and took the test, then you were you were you were golden. And so I learned that and just never went to class. I never went to class for that class. I did the home and you could turn the homework in in advance. So I did all the homework. I did all the homework in like uh, a week and a half, two weeks. I b buckled down. I buckled down hard for like two weeks and just crushed that pre calc trick homework for the entire semester and then turned it all in and then only showed up for like three test days after that. So instead of having like, I don't know, 16 credit hours, it was like having 13 credit hours and it was pretty goddamn awesome. It was like getting to take a class off. So... Uh, Mega Ma. Oh, I have a strength card. Thank God. We already know that our our deal with the devil this time around is Krampus's head. I'm starting to wonder with the PhD, or with the PhD and with you know the it, it being card drops that we're gonna get, is Krampus's head worth taking? Because our damage is not, it's not something to write home about. It is, it is not abysmal, but it is not impressive either. Huh? I don't know. I'm torn. Well, blood clot helps out. Yeah, sure. What the hell? Let's take Krampus's head. We've got both batteries. It'll it'll help us navigate and get through rooms that otherwise would be a total pain in the dick. Boy, I sure wish I had a sun card. Butthole. Yeah, that's good enough. I think this is a secret room. Yeah, that had a, had a real feeling to it. You know what I mean? no desire to play that. I feel like our shop might be worthwhile. Okay, well, I'll go back in there and now I'll... Oh, Kobe! I'll go back in there now and bomb my way into the curse room because just maintaining our health is... It would be like getting a spirit heart out of a tinted rock. You know what I mean? Like, by preserving that spirit or spirit heart, we also, you know, we, we preserve the spirit heart so we get to gain a spirit heart and whatever's in this room. Let's find out. Ooh, it's an item. I haven't said much about like guppy. I haven't said much about like the guppy transformation in a really long time. Hangman versus the fool. Yeah, I will take that. It actually serves a purpose. Ceremonial robes. You know what? If we're not gonna get guppy items, that's a tremendous pickup. I will look for the shop. I don't see myself doing the little tangen tangential side rooms. Uh, I'm I'm not I'm not in the market. You know what I mean? I'm not feeling it today. I'm not feeling a hundred percent thorough. 
Not on the challenge runs. On the runs where I really need to snowball out of control to get, you know... Uh, I don't think so, friend. On the runs where I really need to snowball out of control just to get the momentum necessary to think about tackling the dark room or the chest, or even the cathedral or shoal. You know, those are the ones where I'll really concentrate on trying to get get my mind wrapped around going to every single room and gaining all the advantages and picking up all the uh, all the money and all the items and better trinkets and that kind of stuff. But for right now, I'm feeling just fine, thank you. This is, with ten keys, I think worth it. Yeah, that'll do. Uh, just be an item. <laughs> That's how I feel about that, in case you were wondering. I'm actually going to try to store the Krampus's head charge. If I can get into fights like this where I feel relatively confident about my ability to survive and escape. Yeah, counterfeit penny's fine. Wub Wub is... I mean, it, oh, why did I come in here? I can't understand why I came in here. Like, I, I, clearly is not the shop. I was kind of on autopilot, I think. Wheel of Fortune. I just, I don't care. I care, I don't care. I was talking about something. Oh yeah, I'm saving Krampus' headshots because in these rooms, I, you know, unless I play like an asshole, in which case I deserve to take the damage I'm going to take, unless I play like an asshole, I should be able to survive just fine. And then I can take a double Krampus' head charge into like our boss fight and just wreck balls. Yeah, that was closer than I wanted it to be. Thank God for that speed upgrade we got from the Demon Beggar. Arcade. Arcade is worth our time. No donation machine, that's okay. I really, really hope against hope that our... Oh, God, there's a boss trap room here, huh? All right. All right. Am I going back? I'm going to go back to look. Like, I'm telling you, I'm, I'm in a place mentally where I'm, you know... I'm mentally relieved that I'm not fighting the boss rush f fatigue and anxiety. So here I am. Going to go at least look if it's a gray chest we're leaving. It's a gray chest we're leaving. But at least I got to peek. And now I can gather. I mean, I can gather health on the way back now. And I can spend that health at the arcade. Hopefully to get a blood bag. Let's see what's in our shop. Let's see what, what, what are we fighting for. We are fighting for Broken Watch, and we are fighting for Humbling Bundle. You damn straight we're fighting for hum Humbling Bundle. And we got Chaos Card, so Chaos Card Chariot sounds A-OK -okay to me. Chaos Card Chariot, my friend, I said, sounds alright to me. Don't make this about you, hanged man. Nobody, nobody's put you on their Christmas list. We're gonna get a shit ton of money out of this, let's just call it what it is. So we're, we're, we're set for money forever and ever at Nomini Patria, at Spiritu Sancti. And we got a, a heart and some more money out of it. Jesus Christ, we have a ton of money. Um, and, you know, we saved our Krampus' head charge. We didn't need more than what we got. Uh, dinner is an HP upgrade, obviously. We don't need... Ooh, dog, this is happening. Sister Maggie. Demon Baby. Rotten Baby, we just picked up a whole assortment of familiars. That's awesome, man. I am 100% down. Let's grab that and leave, I think. Leave him with the Chariot, the Chaos card. Technically damage upgrades in the form of all of our little buddies. Is this something that's worth my time? Could be. Oh, it is. Tis. Tis worth our time. And with the with the batteries, we could actually we could actually perpetually cre create our own flies. This would be the non-flying version of Guppy. With the addition of Rotten Baby. Oh, we got BBFs too, man. We got uh, we got some big ass familiars. This is actually kind of the coolest pickup we could have asked for. That's neat, man. That's like super neat. That's tough, kid. That's double tough. Why do I have a random Tommy Lee Jones Men in Black, like or original Men in Black line, just floating around inside my head? Uh, thank goodness for the uh, <laughs> goat head. That's that's the that's the word I'm making with my mouth. Thank goodness for the goat head pickup. We don't have to worry about whether or not we're going to take damage because we will once again get to see uh, a deal with the devil. I feel strong about this for, for multiple reasons, not the least of which being the fact that we have the starter deck. So these are all cards, and we'll get to see what they are. There's no taking the pill and... Oh, <laughs> there's no taking the pill and hoping. You know, like, oh, geez, I hope we get a good thing. Hermit, two... Okay, two of diamonds. Oh, humbling bundle's going to mess up optimum, optimum money, but that's okay. All right, so that's that's all the stuff we got. We don't need this anymore. What am I looking for? All right, so there's that. 
Um, I'm gonna stick with Guppy's head. I'll I'll buy the Bible just to get it out of our rotation. I'll buy everything. I'll buy the shop out really because we'd have no no real hard and fast guarantee that we're gonna get cheese and it was all free. We have no hard and fast guarantee that we're gonna get another real shop. So. Oh man, okay. I'm having fun with this run now. I hope you guys are too, but this is a, a, a thoroughly enjoyable, non-traditional build that I'm, I'm kind of wrapping my head around here. We only have the one guppy item, but we do now have several big badass- Oh, Jesus Christ, that's, I'm so much faster than I meant to be. Uh, don't really want the chocolate bar. What's going on over here? Is this- I was gonna say, there's part of me that wanted to see if that was maybe a- Ooh. There's part of me that wanted to see if maybe that was a curse room. Abel, one run. Hashtag one run. That's all you need to know, bro. That's all you need to know. I'm, I'm telling you everything you need to know about Abel in a one run. The two are synonymous, my friend. Alright, so let's go back into our... Let's go back in here. We definitely want the Chaos card. We don't care that much about the Chariot. I prefer the mapping here. Good. Okay. I am going to go fight this mini-boss. There's no telling what kind of awesome might, might be living in there. One of you assholes could have been uh, a real a real beast mode here and blown up this tinted rock for me. Small rock would be ideal. <laughs> ah. All right. Well, I guess the, the the payback here is that we have to we have to fight this envy fight and, and instead of you know anything useful. But you know, with the number of familiars we have and the amount of flies coming out of us. It's not that big a deal. It's a, it's a time-consuming thing, but it's not it's not something that's actively hurting us to do. I'm feeling strong enough to go fight whatever our boss is, and I'm feeling hopeful about this deal with the devil that we got coming up. God damn, that's such a tough, tough little circle to make. All right, let's go on in and see what we can do. Oh, dog! I'm the king of dialogue. Look at our look at our little little conga line of skull fuckery here. All right, well we're taking Abaddon, so let's do this first. Let's come in here. Yeah, I mean, we might as well. We're about to lose our red hearts, right? We'll do that. We'll do that. Oh my god, we are just filthy right now. And when we uh, when we get to whatever the, the last boss is, which I'm guessing is Mom, based on the length of the... Based on the length of the timeline there, I'm guessing it's going to be Mom. And I'm guessing we're going to just kind of chaos Carter in the face. Broken Watch helping out here. I've not seen a room where it's worked to go. Oh, Jesus Christ. I've not seen a room where Broken Card so far, or Broken Watch so far has worked against us. I don't have any real grand designs on using Little Brimstone. I mean, like, there it worked out fine and everything, but it's not, it's not number one on my list of, like, things to, to mentally parse out or segregate. Where I think to myself, oh, well, I really need to make sure that I utilize a little brimstone to its fullest potential. I'll tell you the honest to God truth, I'm not concerned about Little Brimstone's, uh, potential development. I am concerned about possibly picking up guppy items in places like this, but it, it, I guess just wasn't meant to be. Wow, we are shitting on this level now, man. Where was the challenge in this run? Come, I, I don't want to temp tempt it, because I've already heard people saying, like, I'm really struggling on Waka Waka, and I'm like, oh, that sucks. You know, like, I'm not I'm not going to badmouth anybody. I, I, I eat shit on a lot of runs, my friends. Um, You know... I don't, I'm not really valuing my bombs these days, so let's let's peek over here. I just wanted to see if maybe that was our item room. It's or not our item room, but our, our shop. It's not. Let's peek up here. We got money we can't possibly need. I will fight. I am the man who will fight for his shop. I'll be I miss power ballads, man. Fucking sue me. I've had long conversations with you guys about like the fact that I refuse I refuse to be apologetic about I, I refuse to be apologetic about enjoying music that uh, that comes from artists that other people consider bad. You know, everyone is just like, "Oh, you, you know, you like Justin Bieber?" I'm like, "No, I think he's a deplorable human being, but he's got some catchy fucking tunes." You like uh you like Taylor Swift? Uh, I, I don't I don't know. I've never met her. She she could be a tremendous thunder twat, but I have no idea. I do know that her music's catchy as fuck. Same, same goes for like Nicki Minaj and, and Iggy Azalea and all those girls, man. Like, they may be horrendous, fucking Sarlacc, Return of the Jedi, snatch monsters for all I know. I, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta tone it down. Here they come. Hold on. Oh shoot. Hold on. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm 
I'm recording. That's right. Hey boys, how was your trip to the park? I guess it was. Good. It was to see Gabe. I'm really glad we didn't name Grace and Gabe now. Because they're just so stinking many. Oh, it is already warm outside. I mean, it doesn't help that our house is like an easy bake oven. My wife doesn't realize that was a passive aggressive dig at the fact that she always keeps the freaking thermostat. Yeah! It's a passive aggressive dig at the fact that my wife is right here. Hold on. Oh no! Prisoner of war bug. Oh, the sadness is real. I'm sorry, bugadoo. It's totally a passive aggressive dig at the fact that she keeps she keeps this house at like 76 degrees constantly. And that's fine if you're her. If you're a girl who grew up going to the beach and you don't sweat very often, her blood rate like her blood pressure based on the test that we took for our life insurance means that she's like half vampire cuz she's just like she's naturally okay in warmth, but I like I sweat I sweat if I think about things that are things. That's it. I mean, that's it. I sweat all the fucking time. So, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not crazy about the fact that our. How, I. I sweat. I, I tweak it down a couple of degrees whenever she's not paying attention. And so far, she hasn't like hit me in the neck over it. But it's coming. I'm. I'm on borrowed time. All right. So that's um, whatever the hell that was. The the it's in the cards challenge down. Thank you guys for tuning in. Thank you guys for all your support on the series. It makes it so much more fun to do when you guys are are active and with me. And you're always active and with me. So. If you enjoyed the episode, please leave a rating. It certainly does help. But until tomorrow, on behalf of the denizens of the cave and myself, my name is Taffy. I will see you then, and I am out.